Hello and welcome to this screencast my friends in which we are going to see how to amortize a loan. Uh, for that purpose we have some information here. We have the loan amount $1 million. We have the interest rate 15% per annum and the repayment schedule is 5 equal annual installments. What we are required to do is to find out the amount per installment and then to uh, lay out an amortization schedule. So let us uh, answer the first question and in answering that this is uh, one question that we need to ask ourselves which time value formula to invoke for this purpose and the answer is we have to invoke the present value of an annuity formula and which is this present value of the annuity is equal to payment times the present value interest factor of the annuity at k percent for n periods. So uh, let us now uh, go about finding out the payment amount or the amount per installment. We know the uh, present value of the annuity is already given to us that is our loan amount and that is one million dollars. So we write here one million and then an equality sign after that we write PMT because that is what we are supposed to find out and then we multiply this PMT amount by the present value interest factor of the annuity at k percent which is 15 percent and for n time periods which is five years. So when we look at the tables we are going to find that the value of our interest factor is 3.352 and so therefore the uh, payment is going to be equal to payment is equal to 1 million divided by 3.352 and that gives us a payment amount of uh, let us check on the calculator 1 million 1000000 divided by 3.352 and that gives us 298 Three two nine. We are going to ignore the cents for calculational ease. So let us write that here. Dollars two nine eight three two nine. So this is the amount that we need to pay for each year, and we need to continue to pay this amount for five years in order to completely offset our loan or amortize our loan. Now let us prepare an amortization schedule. For that we make a table like this in the first column here we write the number of years 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and in this column we write the beginning amount of the loan then we make a column for annual installments, another column for the interest payments, another column for principal repayment and finally the remaining balance. So let us start filling up this table. So the beginning amount at the end of the first year is going to be our loan amount and that is one million dollars. So let us write here one million. What is the amount that we are paying now annually? Annual installment is this amount here 298329. So let us copy that and paste it here and this amount my friends is going to remain constant over a period of time. So therefore this amount can be copied and pasted into all the cells of this column. So let us do that. 298329 was supposed to be copied. Something probably went wrong. So let us write here 329 and 329 and 329 and one more time 329. So um, this is the amount that we are paying annually at the end of each year. Now some part of this amount that we are paying is going to be applied towards interest payment and some part of this amount is going to be applied towards a principal repayment. Let us find that out. How much interest are we supposed to pay in the first year? The interest payment is always equal to the rate of interest in this case 15 percent times the beginning amount. So that is what I have written here 0.15 that is 15 percent and multiplied by whatever value we are going to have in column number one here in this column. So in this column the value in the first cell here at the moment is 1 million so we take 15 percent of 1 million and that is going to be 150 thousand dollars. 
so that is the amount of interest that we pay in the first year so therefore now what is happening is that out of the total amount of installment that we pay this much goes towards the payment of interest and therefore then whatever remains goes towards the principal repayment so that is what we have here uh, under principal repayment we are going to have the difference between column numbers 2 and 3 so that means this item minus this item let us see how much is that 298329 minus 150000 and that gives us 148329 so let us write that amount here 148329 so now what is the remaining balance at the end of the first year and that is going to be the difference between 1 and 4 the value in 1 is 1 million and the value in this column fourth is 148329 so let us take the difference 1 million minus um, let us see how much was it 148329 and that leaves us with 851671 so let us write that value in this column 851671 that is the remaining balance at the end of the first year and since this is the remaining balance at the end of the first year this is also going to be our beginning balance coming into year number two so let's copy and paste that amount here now this is your beginning uh, amount in the second year you are paying an annual installment of this much out of which what is the amount of interest that you're paying 15 percent of whatever is your beginning amount this much so let us find that out 15 percent that is 0.15 times the beginning amount 851671 and that gives us 127750.65 and we can round it off to the next dollar so we are going to write here one two seven seven five one and now what is going to uh, be the amount that is going to be applied towards principal repayment it is going to be the difference between this number and this number because this is the amount that we are paying as our installment out of which this much is going towards interest payment and the remaining is going to go towards principal repayment so this item minus this item is going to be applied towards the principal repayment and the difference of that is going to be 170578 and therefore now the remaining balance will be equal to um, you started with this much amount in the beginning and this is the amount of the principal that you have repaid back so the difference between this and this is going to give us the remaining balance and that in this case is 681 zero nine three likewise we can continue to fill up the remaining columns now this six eight one zero nine three is the ending balance for year number two and therefore that also becomes the beginning amount or the beginning balance for year number three let us fill out the remaining cells of this row now 15 percent of this amount we are going to write here and that is going to be equal to 102164 and what is now the amount that is going to be applied towards the principal repayment that is going to be the difference between this item and this item which is equal to 196165 now the ending balance or the remaining balance you started with this much beginning amount and you have repaid this amount of principal so the difference between this and this is going to come here as the remaining balance which is 484928 and the same number becomes our beginning balance or the beginning amount for the fourth year so let's copy it here now likewise we fill in the interest amount for the fourth year which is going to be 15 percent of what amount this amount 484928 
So 15% of 484928 is going to give us 72,739. And what is going to be the amount applied towards principal repayment? Out of this amount of installment that you're paying, this much is applied towards interest and the remaining is going to be applied towards the principal repayment, which is going to be 225590. And what remains as your balance in the end? You started with this amount and now you subtract this amount from this and you are going to be left with 259338. And so this amount here becomes your beginning balance coming into year number 5. You are making this much payment out of which the interest amount is going to be 38901 this is 15% of this amount and uh, what do you need to pay uh, for your principal that is going to be the difference between this number and this number and that comes to be 259428 um, and what is going to be a remaining balance this number minus this number and in this case it comes out as minus 90 and that probably is because of the rounding off that we were doing so we can write here rounding off error so that is how your loan is amortized over this uh, sequence of five years when you're paying an equal installment amount of 298,329 per year thank you very much ladies and gentlemen bye bye